it's not just the global north versus the global south. The inequalities mm -hmm. and patterns of exploitation happen within the global north and, of course, within the global south. There are two ways of looking at this, if I may say. One is to think to, to think of globalization, financialized globalization, as a process that went in the right direction but not far enough and has excluded, left out many, many millions or billions of people. There's another way, which is my way, that the way in which financialization and globalization has created wealth for the very few has actually held the rest behind. And if we really want to talk about grassroots, um, you know, uh, grassroots sharing in the wealth, we need mm. to confront those who benefited all those years.